Hello everyone, how are we? Oh, just a little in the seat. As we can see, the Rona rug is getting more ludicrous by the week. Hello, Candy. Yep, you go feed the fam. Got to make sure they're fed and happy. No rumbly tumblies over there. Lurk away. Who else have we got here? Ah, Harry Scott, welcome aboard. Hope everything's well with you. Just let a few more people get in. And introduce themselves. Nope, we're up five. Ah, hey, hey, Dan, how are you doing? Hope you're still safe and well up there. In the far north. Freezing north. Uh, <laughs> yeah. The weather's been a bit strange this week. Um, so. Oh. Hey, Mandy. Thank you very much for the super sticker. It's going okay. There's nothing really I've got to complain about. Um, well, no. It's me. I'm going to complain about something. Just in my nature. Uh, <laughs> Hi, Pam. Hope all's well with you, too. Hope you're feeling better. Um, so, what's been going on in Sharpie's fish room this week? Pretty much bugger all. Uh, <laughs> literally. Uh, Hey, Nathan, I hope you're on the mend as well. Uh, fingers crossed it all works out well for you, buddy. <clears throat> so, yeah, there's been no births, no deaths. Not that I've noticed. Might be missing a guppy, but you never never know. <laughs> um the only th real thing of consequence that happened is uh, I broke down Norman's tank and rescaped it. Um, ah, evening, Aaron. Just finished painting a piece of ice on it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, sorted. Ah, hi, Jake. How, how you doing? Yeah, so I rescaped Norman's tank. Purely because uh, every time I looked at it, and I couldn't not look at it because it's in my eye line if I'm watching YouTube on the television. Uh, every time I looked at it, I was expecting to see Norman swim out from behind one of the crypts. But so I thought I'd better rescape it and resort it. So I've done that. Nothing spectacular. Spectacular spectacular I just pulled everything out dumped the sand out that was in there cleaned off the wood the rocks plants got root well I say got rid of the Monte Carlo it kind of disappeared um, <laughs> it was probably still in the sand um, basically yeah, just put the last of tetraactive substrate in the bottom dumped a two kilo bag of sand on the top of that or four pound bag of sand um chuck the wooden rocks back in and stuck the plants back in pretty much uh did leave most of the crypt out the cryptocrine because that was just monstrous um there were, at the final count, 100 cherry shrimp living in there. That's why it took a while to do, because catching 100 cherry shrimp, even in a little, what is it, 15 litre, which is three and a half, four gallon, catching 100 of them little blighters, <laughs> took some doing. Was, uh, I was just stirred everything up, had to sort of catch some, let it settle, catch some more, let it settle. But yeah. They're all now safely ensconced in the cherry shrimp tank. Um, 
and that's just being kept cycled at the moment by a trio of guppies until I find a new better to put in there. Um, so a new better, not a replacement, because I can't replace Mormon. But yeah, it's um, it's done me good. It uh, it feels dumb to say that it was an emotional experience, but it was. Um, ah, thank you very much, Scott. Welcome aboard, my friend. How are you? Nice chunky ten dollar. Ten dollar super chat there, and Dan, thank you very much for the tank rescaping fund. I shall put that actually towards the the new better fund. Um, uh, 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 yeah, Supreme Gecko, the Gecko research. Nice all day, and the sun's coming out of the clouds, and my room is boiling. I hate hot weather. I hate hot weather too, Aaron. Um, I had to drag the mattress downstairs and sleep downstairs on the floor, basically, because it's just too hot this week. Um, yeah. Which meant I didn't sleep alone anyway. Because if I sleep downstairs, I can leave the back door ajar, as it were. There's a lace, a shoelace tied around it that I can hook over the handle on the other door, except patio doors. So I can hook the shoelace over, and then it just stops the door opening too far. Uh, either or, Brian, it really doesn't make a difference. I think YouTube takes the same percentage of everything. Yeah, hashtag new better fund, that works too. Yeah. Old dweller fund or new fishy fund, or whatever I happen to choose. Oh, thank you very much, Mandy. Well, between everyone tonight, that's definitely a new better paid for. Um, possibly a new tank for it as well. Thank you very much, everybody. Um, as I said, always appreciated, never expected. And so, yes, that was pretty much that. Uh, anything else? I did film the uh, video for the bristle nose kind of care guide breeding guide very simplified um just went over the basics oh thank you very much scott love you too brother Mwah. um well the second queen of two queens aquatics um <coughs> <laughs> so yeah that was that well uh, yeah and literally i stopped filming turn around there's Bertie. She's got a face down. She's standing vertically, nose down on the zucchini courgette. Being an absolute derp. It's like, why didn't you do that when I had the camera rolling? But yeah, that seems to have gone down okay. Um, while I was doing that, I was sort of scrolled through like, my old videos to see how many. <laughs> Uh, you know, just to scroll through the old videos, see which ones are doing better than others, blah, blah, blah. And it seems to me, if you put the word fluval in the title of a video, it gets a lot more views. Um, because things like some of my earlier ones, well, it's like fluval flex update, it's got like 4,000 views on it or something. <laughs> You're like, whoa, <laughs> wasn't expecting that. I know some of my modelling videos have got quite a lot of views, sort of seven, eight thousand, but really wasn't expecting it from the fishy ones. So that came as a pleasant surprise. And yep, yeah, there's the PayPal link. Thank you very much, Mandy, for putting that up. <clears throat> Before my throat gives out, I'm fine. And yes, I'm wearing the fish tank T-shirt. <clears throat> Uh, I was going to ask about fluid. Are the tank, tanks any good with the filter and the heater? Uh, yes. Out of my display tanks, three of them are fluval. Uh, I've got two of the 57 litre flexes, and this is the 200 litre Roma. And yeah, I've not got a problem with any of them. 
you know what a lot of people say is the included U4 filter in the 200 isn't powerful enough, but does the job. Now I've just got a little box filter in there and the U4, and does that look like it needs extra filtration? <laughs> Doesn't to me. Um, I'll say if I was... Uh, I was still over there. I've probably got a few narrowites I could have sent you, but yeah, Roman's Rock and the Flex, great tanks for different reasons, exactly. The Flex is an awesome starter tank. Now, it's a bit of a weird size and shape. Um, I didn't hear about the storm hitting India, Chewy. Um, pretty much all the news over here is at the moment is how many people died today? How many new cases have there been today? Um, how many people have recovered? Why did the government minister go visit his family? When he, yeah. So I've kind of shut off the news of late. That'll be that stand, uh, that tank and that stand, Aaron. That'll be the one that was on sale. Yeah, Megaflex. That's that's on my list, Dan. If I get enough money saved up, there could well be a Megaflex going in down there. I mean, the models would end up elsewhere, probably landfill. Um, <laughs> but, and yes, still not sponsored. Hell, Haley might even have narrow snails. I know she's got millions of lambs, lambs horns. Oh dear. Hey, Chevy. And um, hey, Patrick. How are you? And Danny. Sorry, Kenny. So I read Danny Ken, and the first thing that comes into my mind is Danny, not Ken. No offence. Thank you very much, Brian. Yeah. Um, won't be next week, but it'll be the week after. Um, I do have a week off work. So hopefully I'll be able to uh, take a trip out to at least the local Maidenhead. Maidenhead Aquatics UK. Chains, chain store, but they just do fish. Um Oh, a bit of Cornish pasty. Um, either that or a bit of tooth, either or. So, yeah, hopefully I can get up there. It'll be a bus journey, but, hey, I'll go at a time when people aren't going to be on the bus. I'll go after everyone's gone to work and come home before people come home from work. So I should be able to get on a quiet bus. Um and yes, I'll take precautions. I won't have a wash for a week. That'll keep people plenty far away from me. Uh, yeah, our local Maidenhead reopened because I think the only reason, Dan, is it's in the garden centre. Not Cuts Garden Centre. Big garden centre around here, just on the outskirts of Norwich. On the outskirts of the city centre, so... <laughs> Yeah, uh, so that opened up, but because the fish shop is inside the garden centre, they kind of had to as well, so they are open again. Obviously, it's a limited amount of customers in the shop. Follow the route around the floor, stay six feet away from each other. All the sensible precautions are in place. Um, but yeah, I'll be going up and Hopefully, they'll have the right better. If they don't, I won't get one. Um, because simply, I'm not going to go, that one's the prettiest, I'll have that one. It'll be which one I gel with, as it were. But with Norman, I stood there looking at them all. 
and he came and swam up to the front of the tank and started showing off for me. So I knew he wanted to come home with me. And we worked out well. Yes, that's exactly it, Chewie. Make-believe numbers of money are worth more than human lives, apparently. Is my way of thinking of it. But yeah, It's got to be not just the pretty one, it's got to be the right one. Uh, yeah, water pollutants and improper animal. Yeah, it's all one big loop, Chewie. That's... And people don't seem to get that. <laughs> Uh, it's like people think that when lockdown ends, that's it. There will be no more corona. No, it just mean that the amount of cases the NHS can keep up with. <laughs> that's it. Ah, hey, redfish, bluefish. How the devil are you? Welcome aboard. So prepare for randomness and strangeness. Is it your first sign? Things do kind of off the rails. So it's a uh, PC 17. They will be smoking, drinking of energy drinks, probably wind, maybe big white fluffy cat. And I'll try not to swear. And well, yeah, it's uh, one of those things, Chewie. So, yes, yeah, there's that. Other things, and yeah, I'm, I've got to say, I agree. I, got, I love a redhead. Um, my first crush growing up was Tiffany, the pop singer. And yeah. <laughs> it is cheery. They just, you know, their practices are about 400 years out of date. Um, Kind of like the American political and legal system. Yes, Brian, that one. That's the one. And then obviously Christina Hendricks is a redhead, so what more can you say? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, fiery like the hair and uh, what's that tea they use for tannins in the tanks to get black water? Red bush. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist that one. Yeah, Jessica Rabbit. Yeah, I've actually got a model I built with Jessica Rabbit somewhere. Um, ah, hi, Michael. <laughs> well, someone's got to, Brian. Someone's got to. The metal day. Yeah. Got to get the metal on. And this week's metal has mostly been Nightwish. And Chewie's probably the only person who will have known who this is. Uh, Frog Leap Studios. Um. He's done a whole heap of covers of various popular songs in a metal style. Done really well. He takes the music seriously and you know, the making of it, and but he doesn't take himself at all seriously. Some of the videos are hilarious. Mm -hmm. Quite a few. Yep. Chewy knows about what happened in 1918. I mean, not quite old enough to have been there, but. Oh, Kenny's been on the wasp. Oh. That well, was Animal who did that one, weren't it? Yeah. <laughs> Yep, 
Yeah, I mean, I try not to listen to hair metal because I start getting jealous. So, anything else been going on in the fishy fish room? Not really. Uh, oh, yeah. I had, uh, you know how sometimes something will turn up in a tank and you're not expecting it? Whether it be planaria or random fry or snails that came out of a plant. Well, um, now my second bristle nose grow out tub has got wood in it two bits of wood some charcoal kicking around on the bottom is a bit of a substrate you kind of thing which has not been used anywhere before a filter that's brand new a heater that's brand new and a tub that uh, the tote itself had been dry for months and a bit of moss that came out of the Crebensis grow out tub, which has had Crebensis cichlids in there for eight months. When I was doing the water change this week, there's two bloody cherry shrimp in there. <laughs> How the hell did they get in there? I've not even not used the net to put the bristle noses in there. There's nothing in there that's ever been anywhere near a tank with cherry shrimp in. How the hell are there cherry shrimp in there? The nearest tank with them in is about 10 feet away. Ah, hi, John Paul. How are you? Shrimping around and anyone else I've missed? Hope you're all well and doing fine. Yeah, the problem though, Mike, was the end of the war. The war ended and everyone came out and celebrated and then then everyone died from Spanish flu. <coughs> kind of like pretty much you can guarantee is going to happen is they'll go, lockdown is ended, corona is over. Everyone will come out and have a massive street party and it won't have ended, it won't be over. No, there's no plants in there, Andy. Literally just, just some moss that was, a, a, a tiny little bit of Java moss that has only ever been in that Crevensis tub. Um, <laughs> yeah, but the bristle nose, <laughs> Patrick, the bristle nose tank hasn't got any cherry shrimp in it. <laughs> They've either magically just appeared in there, you know, like planaria or detritus worms or water fleas do. Or they've climbed out of the, one of the tanks and walked there. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, there we go. Uh, oh, one other thing I did see in here this morning when I got up and the lights weren't on and I didn't have the front room light on, just sunlight coming in the back door, I spotted what looked suspiciously to me like breeding behaviour from the copper harlequin rasboras. I was swimming along beside each other, one to do a big shimmy, then the other one to do the shimmy, and then they'd swim along a bit more, and then another shimmy. So, yeah, that's actually, Dan, that's probably, probably what's happened. I wouldn't be surprised if it was Zach. If I managed to you know, vacuum some up, or siphon some up into the bucket doing a water change, and he's come along, picked them out, and put them back in the wrong tank. It wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> but by the way, the way they just keep turning up in different tanks randomly, I would not be surprised if there were shrimp living in, living in the trap under my kitchen sink. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if there's a bristle nose in there at the moment. Yeah, it probably is. 
it's either that or it's my my ghost my ghosty person has been doing it been coming down and netting shrimp out it, that's it Sherry that there hasn't been a net going there and there aren't any plants in there and the wood that's in there has not been in another tank <laughs> the filter was brand new the heater was brand new the so the tub had been dry it was standing up just over there empty for about three months so it's not like they've survived in the bottom of the tote with a bit of water in it so yeah i don't know i'll have to try and catch them out at some point probably at the same time as i'm trying to catch out the baby whistle noses because at some point, these guys have got to go. Because they're all getting rather large now. And then I'm going to have to move them across. And then, yeah. That's actually possible. That's actually a possibility, Mandy. Um, <laughs> if you see him going to drink out the pond, it's hilarious. You, know, you think anything in there other than obviously the monster's pond snails, he would potentially see it as food. But he sort of creeps up to the pond, he sort of peers over and checks, has a good look, good check, pauses, has another quick check, and goes down to drink. Because he doesn't want any of the frogs or comets coming too close to him. <laughs> uh, a lot of Italian, subsound. Subsound. Hmm. Subsound does ring a vague bell somewhere. As long as I'm not confusing it with sub pop, but I don't think I am. Did Mike Patton do a couple of records on subsound? I know he did a bunch of Italian stuff at some points. Ah, yes. Don't start doing uh, Ah. Yeah, that, that, that definitely... I mean, Kelly Osborne rings a bell, unfortunately, but... Yeah, she's been playing musical tanks while I sleep, yeah. It, all I can think is it's either Zach's done it or Ghost's done it. right just the way the lights hit in the face fuzz so yeah um yeah so possible breeding with harlequin raspberry is in there although yeah i doubt anything would survive being as none of the guppy fry survive none of the platy fry survive there's this big boy up here and Little Pam in there as well. Here he comes. The big African butterfly. My big African cichlid. Yeah. There you go, Scott. Right there. That's my big African cichlid. He's <laughs> a. Uh, or the butterfly cichlid or the anomalochromus because of anomalous yeah because they're the only species in the genus i believe uh, i thought that's what i heard tom welcome aboard yeah i did actually cut my front grass the other day bad idea bad bad idea um yeah i get hay fever quite badly and Going out of the strimmer and cutting grass is really not comfortable. It's fine while I'm doing it. It was just about half an hour afterwards, and then you go blind, and your nose starts running, and then you have to go to work, and everyone thinks you've got a certain virus. Kind of scared. I'm kind of... 
<laughs> yeah, German Shepherd will scare a cat. Got to admit that. I think even Zach would think twice about attacking her. German. I shall rely on your recommendations then, Chewy. As I say, radio, radio over here for rock or metal. <laughs> oh, pardon me. Is just utter garbage. Um, and yeah, I really, <laughs> there's only so many hours in the week, and I just can't keep up with everything. So, yeah. Trying to keep up with what models are being released, who's building what at the moment, and all the fishy fam, and then my own stuff and work. <laughs> now I'm kind of glad I get insomnia sometimes because, <laughs> you know, gives me a chance to catch up on things, which is why I'm looking forward to a week off. And depending how things go, um, ah, I shall have a look and see with that, Chewy. So I'll try to do Vampire. Yes. Oh. Yeah, GSD is a great fun dogs to have. Big, soft, fluffy lumps. Unless you're not supposed to be there, then they're psycho attack dogs from hell. Yeah. So, oh, what are the ones? I uh, say so the next. I think the next news we get about Rona lockdown from the government about what might be happening is actually the first day of my holiday. So, fingers crossed. We might be another slight lift, and I might be able to actually see Mary and her new car as well. It's, Congratulations to her. She bought a new car yesterday. So, yay. Uh, it's a little uh, Toyota Igo white with black and red trim. Looks very sporty and cool, I have to say. So I think what else have I been up to this week other than work and trying to sleep and sleeping with Zach at yeah exactly um, it, it's it is great having I've, I've been looking that was the reason I got the butterfly cichlids, Chewy, is because I couldn't get hold of checkerboard cichlids. Um, they're just non-existent around here for some reason. There is a place I could get them online, but they don't guarantee sex or, you know, or gender, as it were. Um, and you know, I want to breed fish. <laughs> If you just got two males or two females, you ain't gonna get breeding. And I mean, I've got two males and one female with the butterfly cichlids, and nothing's happened. So that'll be moving on. Uh, ah, hi Rich, how are you? Hope, to, hope all's well with you and Karen. Ah, very low pH. Yeah, that that could be the problem then. Um, well, no, the African one should be okay. Yeah, I'll probably have to struggle breeding checkerboards. Um, 
bit tricky when the water comes out of the tap at 8.2. Yeah, staring, staring at it to help it clear faster, Dan. Yeah, that's like staring at the toaster to make the toast come out faster or the kettle sort of boil faster. Or sitting there building a model and watching the paint dry. Yes, I've done that more than once. But then the list of dumb, dumb things I've done while modeling is endless. You know, the accidentally stabbing myself with a scalpel. Accidentally chopping the end of my finger with the snips. Accidentally soldering myself. Accidentally super gluing my head to the workbench. <laughs> yeah, you know, if there's a modeling injury you can have, I've probably managed it. I, mean, I can't remember what kit it was. It was uh, I was filming a kit review. <clears throat> Cutting one of the bags open with the sprues, I managed to cut my finger. Just stuck some tape around it and carried on doing the review. Didn't even hit pause. Falling asleep with your head on your wet one. <laughs> I've not done that, but I have fallen asleep and gone thud and headbutted a model. Yeah, thank you very much. I shall have a look in that, Chewy. Uh, yeah, you got very soft water, Aaron. Um, yeah, I'll say around here is liquid rock, but uh, we're on a chalk and flint substrate. So, paper cut from model box and instructions. Yeah, I've had paper cuts. I've stabbed myself with sprues. Yeah, cuts from the instructions. Stabbed myself with staples. Yeah, why does that not surprise me, Tom? I mean, I, I did it to one opening a bag of microwave rice. I, I didn't realize I was done it. I thought, that doesn't feel like I'm cutting a bag of plastic. That feels like I'm cutting something else. And I looked down, oh, yeah, it's the end of my finger. Uh, yeah, your best bet of super glue is to just put more super glue on it. <laughs> just leave it till it flakes off on its own. It's the easy way. Or acetone. Although that does sting slightly. Or a lot. Just don't use super glue accelerator. Trust me on that one. I did that. Cut myself with the scalpel. Ah, easy enough. Clean cut, straight. Open it up, squirt some super glue in. Oh, it's still bleeding. Blood's still coming out. Get the accelerator, which is what makes a super glue, crazy glue, set instantly. Spray it on, and it's a thermic reaction. It gets really, really hot. <laughs> I was going to try and keep using tools that belong. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, picking the super glue off your fingers later is the charm. It is. It gives you something to do when you sat in front of the TV watching something boring, but now you've got to watch it to keep the peace in the household. someone was asking at work today, well, why do your knees hurt? So do you really want to know? <laughs> do you really want to know why they crack and they bend sideways? Twice to the knife and once to the knee. 
But you know, yeah, I'll say, I mean, I've done it before, but there's not a single straight one amongst them. <laughs> and no, I might want tattoos, but I haven't really got anywhere I can have tattoos because I'm covered with scar tissue as well. Uh, very difficult to export fish out of Costa Rica with a red dovey. Hmm, red dovey. I'm sure Scott from King and Queen could probably put you onto someone who's got red dovey. <coughs> oh, pardon me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> me too. <laughs> yeah, considering some of the uh, some of the words, they won't let you. Some of the words that won't uh, be accepted in the chat. I'm quite surprised Harlon is. Ah, it's it's a very rare one in the hobby. Then completely fair enough. Chinese butch. <laughs> yeah, so I, I worked in a chicken factory. Um, and at one point, I got fast enough with the knife that I could butcher a chicken from dead gutted bird with the head, neck, and feet removed. Butcher it down to a carcass in 17 seconds. And I would basically do that for eight hours a day. Fun, not. Not the kind of job I want to do ever again, if, if I'm honest. I think I'd rather be homeless and unemployed. Uh, I'm different now in comparison to the originals. Yeah, it could well be that people in the hobby have managed to breed a dovi that is red, but it's not a red dovi. Get the occasional mutant thrown out that is red and keep that to one side and then breed them together. And... Uh, possibly. Um, it's one of those things, every time I think, yeah, a tattoo would be cool, I then think, is there anything I want permanently marked on my body for the rest of my life? <laughs> Nothing really springs to mind. Um, at one point, I was thinking about getting my tongue split. So it's the like the serpent and fork tongue. That would have been a bad idea. Uh, uh, ah, hey, Sickless23, welcome aboard. Hope you're all well and safe and all going well. Do not have the same color. So, yeah. Probably something that someone's managed to breed from mutants, as it were, a hybridized form. So it's a dovide as red, but it's not a red dovi, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, it's, I think it's one of those things I've probably got fish that probably aren't quite right, but. As long as they're happy, friendly, healthy, etc., I don't mind. What is the matter with that glow light, Danio? It's the one that's kind of got some kind of pigmentation issue. It's lost a whole load of pigmentation. I mean, it's swimming around perfectly fine and happy with everyone else still, but... Yeah, I don't know. Uh, we talk about all sorts of random stuff in this stream, Bumblebee. Sometimes we talk about fish. Sometimes we talk about models. Sometimes music, food. Movies, paranormal, and sometimes 
just some random guff and rubbish. <laughs> it's waffle. It's, uh, so I I see a live stream as a chance. There's quite a few of the people in the chat here either do their own live streams or have their own YouTube channels where they put out content or are even just present in a lot of live stream chats. Uh, it's just a nice way to that you make friends. So it's a nice way to keep in touch with people, have a bit of a natter and a yap, answer a few questions. That's it. I, I try not to take anything too seriously. So, um, there's a bunch of moderators in the chat, but they all kind of know the vibe, as it were. So you're not going to get banned for saying one thing a bit iffy. <laughs> um, and actually, personally, I don't mind the occasional bit of trolling. I find it amusing. As long as it's a good troll, you know. A troll has actually put some thought and effort into it rather than just, I'm going to be a troll. Duh. Mm -hmm. Yep, speak to you later, Dan. Have fun. Enjoy feeding your fry. No, no, you're fine. I'll say far worse things than that. <laughs> the other week we were talking about what insults we would use when we were younger that now are no longer politically correct to call someone. <laughs> yeah, it's... And I still fall for it regularly. Where it's just, you don't think, and you just say something oh you absolute joey deacon and then <laughs> people go oh, you know, what oh yeah oops <laughs> ah, don't worry about it man you make youtube mad <laughs> they're not upset by me i <laughs> say so, it still gets monetized and I'm sat here smoking. So, you know, smoking and drinking energy drinks, and that's fine. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, we've all done it. We've all trolled someone. I generally only troll people I know. Then they know I'm trolling them. And they know I'm just taking the mickey. There, there are certain people that are just, just make good targets for being trolled. I mean, all in a pleasant, fun, light-hearted kind of way. Obviously not, not the, your mum, kind of trolling, but... Uh, you would think the agent fish wanted to do something. You would have thought so, um, Chewy, but I would have. I mean, I would have thought it would be more conducive to try and get Costa Rican fish to breed in Florida. I would have thought. Far closer, at least. Uh, yes, streetwise, I do support a football club. Uh, have done since I was a wee bear. So, probably about 40 years. I've been a semi loyal um, Tottenham Hotspur fan, Spurs. Uh, they were my local club growing up. Well, eh, not the most local, but the most local one was really bad. Bishop Stortford Town. 
Um, and the Spurs training ground was about, I didn't see that far at the time. It was probably about three miles outside of town. So during the school holidays, we used to go get on our bikes about like six, seven, eight years old, cycle through town, cross the motorway, <laughs> cycle the rest of the way there and sit and watch Spurs train. Back in the days of players like Ricky Villa and Ozzy Ardiles. Mm. Ah, true, the hard water. Yes, they need somewhere with soft water. Hmm, maybe that's something a an Amazonian. Uh, are they all bre are they breeders or are they just collectors in Brazil and those kind of places? Because that would be soft water. Maybe Project Piaba. Might be able to do something about that. Indonesia and Cambodia and Vietnam. Ah, so Southern Asia. Huh? Yeah, I would, I would assume yeah, a lot of rainforesty areas around there. So, um, I think I probably know which ones they were, C23. Probably the one that was in Dennis's stream who just showed us all his crawfish and then got booted. Oh, the yellow labs. Cool. Yeah, the pink roof dolphins as well. Lots of politics involved. But yeah, that's just an idea, just a thought. Throwing these things out there, you never know. Throwing up a muck at the wall, and some of it sticks. Um, but yeah. Um, it's my saw, Rick's my pass UK rappers. I uh, don't know. You think herpes? <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. They got, yeah, you're not going to let someone up. I'm, I can't let people up because I don't know how to do. I haven't looked into doing anything like StreamYard or Streamlabs or anything like that. Um, a bit complicated for me. Uh, But yeah, as people have found, you can't just let anyone up. There has to be someone you know and trust. Um, this is something that happens with the international scale model of Friday Night Live show. Regularly in the chat, as someone goes, how do I join in? Like, you are joining in. No, I mean, get on the screen with you guys. It's like, yeah, you can't. <laughs> Basically, what you've got to do is you've got to join in the off-air hangouts for a long enough while that everyone trusts you not to do something stupid and that you can pay the fines if you do. And will pay the fines if you do. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've heard of Koturk. Yeah, all right, just just South and Central American politics. Just, just, nah. Yeah, as just someone who's gonna. There's a group of them, and basically what they do is they get into a chat. One of them has to come up. If they get up, they then do something like flash. Then all the rest of them instantly complain to YouTube and report the live stream or the video. 
in an attempt to get the video blocked or the channel taken down. Um, hopefully, you know, sometimes and usually, uh, people are quick enough to catch who they are and actually report the people as being spammers to YouTube before they get a chance to do anything. Um, and YouTube's probably aware of exactly who it is. Um, yeah, they they'll change the news and whatever, but it'll be on the um, uh, the IP address. They'll know which IP addresses are doing it. Yeah. It is. It, they are thoroughly antisocial people, but it's what they enjoy doing. And because they believe in free speech, they don't seem to understand that free speech doesn't mean you're free to do and say anything you please in a public arena so yeah just oxygen thieves basically uh, <laughs> environment kinds of people ensure conservation of rain prize ah cool yeah well, so it's, as we all know with the either you know, with, with that part of the world most of it is run by the drugs trade and the cartels, uh, <laughs> the government basically just do what they get told. Yeah, it's, it's not that YouTube aren't doing anything about it. It's, just, it's that big a platform. There are that many videos going up. There's that much to keep track of that, and especially at the moment, with uh, you know, like, the, like most places, they're running on short staff, skeleton crew. So, you know, and the thing is, if they're not actually doing anything that contravenes YouTube's rules, then yeah, fish have to grow in the water and the fire survive the Ah. Alrighty, oh, yeah, you don't have to look that hard, Aaron. Exactly, Rich, as you've pointed out more than once. Um, yeah, you can say what you want, but there's going to be consequences. If you say something highly offensive, or, for example, you have a go at a veteran about something, you're going to get a mouthful. Then you're going to get booted out of a group in a page and blocked by a couple of hundred people and get called out in public in a video that's seen by several thousand people. Ah, hi, Marco. How are you? Good to have you here. Yeah, so Costa Rica is a little bit further north, so it's more solid rather than it's more equatorial weather rather than on a wet and dry season and then a bit further north where you get the four seasons and then you get further and further north and you just get two seasons again <laughs> ah hola joseph how's vermont treating you my friend hope you're all well and healthy and happy and all the fishiness is going well. Give Amber a hug for me. And I can give you a hug. There you go. Still painting the fish lab. Well, just slap the paint on the walls. It'll do. By the time you got 300 tanks in there, you won't be able to see the walls anyway. Uh, do you think it's per person? Locked or hidden or science because a model person doesn't know. Uh, no, I don't really think that's fair, but these things will happen from time to time, Bumblebee. Um, I think I've got two people who have been blocked from my live streams 
obviously it's blocked from our channel, but it's me that's blocked them. Um, I might, might be three because I think Pam might have blocked someone as well. But they, they weren't, weren't really a troll. I think it was just someone rather young who didn't really kind of get what was going on. Um, oh, dear. Aaron, Aaron. Fatal mistake. Anytime you're going to spray a clear clean out the airbrush first yeah i mandy is like mod god mark ii um candy being the queen of the mod gods uh mandy is the princess um but yeah mods make their best judgment call based on the circumstances so yeah just don't be a douchebag and you'll be fine exactly and also the other thing is get a feel for the streams first you know, get because not everyone's stream is the same and mine's loose laid back chilled other people are more concerned with profanity or religious or things like that now, one stream someone might get upset by putting jesus christ <laughs> <laughs> Not calling anyone a douchebag. Just don't be one. Follow the teachings of Bill and Ted. Be excellent to each other. Yeah. Be yourself. Exactly. Don't try and be someone you're not. <clears throat> People will see through it anyway. Ah, howdy, Giant. How the hell are you? Welcome aboard. So my stream, Pam's stream, a uh, couple of others, a bit more risque, bit close, close to the bone, not that kind of bone. Others, far more straight lace. So you just get to know the host and the feel of the various streams or videos, and then take how you go from there. Same as you would in a conversation with people you don't already know. That's basically what you're doing. You're making new friends. So you figure out the situation as it goes. You start off all nice and polite and very proper. <coughs> Pardon me. And after a while, we start belching. <laughs> 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Ah, is that when you're going live, is it, Joseph? Yeah, don't don't wind up as Ginger, she's a redhead. Yeah. Just as the late great Chris Cornell once sang, to be yourself is all that you can do. Anything else is just a lie. I mean, if yourself happens to be an absolute arsehole, tough. Yeah, but you see, thing there is uh, oh, we're not going to go with the time out. Come on, computer, catch up. Oh. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> and we're just going to. Uh... Oh, come on, computer, stop playing silly buggers with me. Uh, 
There we go. Oh, he's, he's gone. He's gone, Mandy. And unless you feel like perma banning, which you're more than welcome to. I had a funny feeling there to start out with. Name I didn't recognize. Yeah. And no wonder why I have mods. Yes. Ah, hey, Jess. Yeah, he was. That's why my wife thinks is given enough rope and I hang themselves. No, uh, so you got my back in. <laughs> yeah, there, there is a limit. And if it's words that I wouldn't use, there are no go. And if you start winding up the mods, hi. Oh, yeah. When I. There was one on my bristle nose video this week. Come see my channel and watch my fish flop. Yeah, we're not even going to click on that one. Just going to ignore it and let it go away. Um, it's like all the will you be my friend comments. Nope. Just ignore or delete and report. Um, it's yeah the problem, the problem with everything being tied together is that if they manage to hack into one thing they've got everything um, so it's, it's just not worth the grief and the hassle so yeah report the spam remove and report exactly that's the way to do it as I say, you know, PG-17, that's kind of what I add, I aim for. Yeah, the occasional mild swearage, bit of cheesiness, bit crude maybe, but nothing overly offensive. When you start resorting to things like the F word, you're going bye-bye. Is if I can manage to do two hours live without saying it after having been at work, then yeah. Uh, just someone being a douchebag and getting kicked out. <laughs> that's all. <laughs> that's all you missed. Nothing spectacular. But the thing is, the problem is, it's done it in my stream now, so he tries to do it in any other fish fans stream. I assume a he, because I just generally assume that males are bigger douchebags. Yeah, Bumblebee was getting cray cray. Bumblebee is no more. Bumblebee flew into the big window and went splat. Um, yeah, but now as soon as it turns up in someone else's stream, if any of you guys are here and are mods, or if you're not mods, you can message one of the mods and say, troll. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, have a good day, buddy. Enjoy your tanks. Yeah, there's only taking out the trash. Don't annoy the redhead. Oh, yeah, yeah, true, Michael. But just on a general level, I mean, especially on the internet. Well, you know, what, you know, it's, yeah, we all have it. You see what some of the model making groups get like. <laughs> um, <laughs> I know, ran out of wine cork. That's all spawning mops. I was like, oh, I know. Well, you know, the answer to that more wine. That's the answer. Um, although, I suppose it's probably best not to use pre used ones, isn't it? Hmm. Well, you might get some tannins out of it as a red wine. Hmm. 
That is something I'm going to have to try a spawning mop at some point. Um, so who has did the video on how to make one? Someone did a very good video on how to make spawning oh, Bentley. Bentley Pasco did a really good video on how to make a spawning mop. So I shall re-watch that when it comes to time to make my own. Um, but yeah. As I say, as I've got my uh, little copper harlequin rasboras doing the old honky tonk. No, man, you're only slightly mad on the nuts one. <laughs> you're just ginger. <laughs> you got an excuse. I'm the insane one. It happens to everyone sooner or later, either in a stream or just comments in a video. Yeah. As the saying is, just don't be a dick. <laughs> Yeah, but sometimes my call, sometimes the cray cray, cray cray ones are good fun. Uh, George Farmer. Ah, he's a very, very big uh, UK based aquascaper. Um, I actually went to one of his live shows, so yes, I've met the guy. He's a nice guy, don't get me wrong. Um, not really what appeals to me to watch. That's, again, that's nothing to do with him. That's just the way things are. Yeah, I like aquascaping. Do I want to do that level? No. <laughs> to me, the fish tank is more about the fish than the plants. Uh, yeah, we've got quite a few over here. Um, MD Fish Tanks is really good. Um, he's kind of not, in, in my world anyway, in, in Planet Sharpie, he's not too upbeat and too on, on, on all the time, which is what I find off-putting. Um, plus, he's just a generally nice guy as well. Uh, and his channel's exploded. But, yeah, he's really good at what he does, so, you know. Knows what he's talking about, does a good job of it, makes it entertaining. Gets more dogs and plants than <laughs> like in a month. Uh, yeah. This is it. You get, you get to a point where... Um, I'm sure other big YouTubers, not just fish tube, other types of subjects, get to a point where they're that well known that all the companies know them, and it's really good marketing for that country or that company to get that guy saying then or girl, not being sexist, saying their name over and over again. It gets in and people then up buying their stuff. I mean, yeah, exactly. Funny, silly, entertaining, knows his stuff. Kind of what I try to be, just a bit slower and lower key. <laughs> and I don't really know my stuff that well. Uh, third spawn of betters looking promising. Yeah, Redfish, Bluefish, very good whole channel. And again, I would uh, time difference issues <laughs> from watching any lives. Uh, third one better look promising. Eggs you hatch tomorrow. If not sooner. Male left one. Uh, uh, female for cat. But he could look very cool. So what's going on, guys? Puts you off, but howdy, peeps. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. Doesn't. Okay, fair enough. 
Or is it more the really loud, yeah, this is going to be great? Yes, that just doesn't do it for me. Um, like, I mean, some of my favorite, I mean, non fish YouTubers, because if I had the fish, fish tubers in there, people might get upset. So I'll go for non fishy people. Now, the mighty jingles, great. Even if you don't play World of Tanks, World of Warships, or whatever, he's just fun and funny to listen to. Um, now, my mind's gone blank. Matthias, see an Arsenal. Ian McCollum, uh, Forgotten Weapons. Uh, Carl Casada, In Range TV. Yeah, I've got no particularly interesting guns, but I find these guys interesting to listen to and watch. Uh, hi, Amano, how are you? Uh, have to get a fish called barbecue today. Cool. Well, enjoy your barbecue and stay safe, Kenny. Just don't try eating your steak through the mask. It doesn't work very well. I did see a video the other day of someone trying to drink out of a glass and had the mask on and just basically end up pouring a drink all over themselves. Definitely have fun, stay safe. Yeah, I'm um, all well here, Amanu. Uh, usual aches and pains from being a broken old fart, but you know. Nothing that can't be fixed by copious amounts of painkillers and anti inflammatories. <laughs> He's dating re is it? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I still not figured out how that works, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> hey ho. Yeah. Yep, certain tomato growers. Yeah, I know the challenge you mean. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's kind of a, it's just an in joke now. Me and the monster sponsorship. Uh, yes, I know. I know, Kenny. The alcohol does kill it. Problem is, I don't drink anymore. Amber, my lovely. How the devil are you? Big Wookie hugs back. Uh, but, but, uh, yeah. Uh, unfortunately, a floof machine is not around at the moment. He's out sleeping somewhere else. He's cheating on me. <laughs> As I was saying earlier, it's been rather warm in the UK. So I, I, we don't have air con, so I just bring the mattress downstairs because it's a few degrees cooler downstairs than it is upstairs. Heat rises. I also pop the loft hatch open as well, so the heat rises even further. Um, and have the back door open, so I've been like going to bed down here, falling asleep, and waking up with a cat snuggled up next to me. It's rather nice. Except when you're not expecting it, you wake up and there's his face right here going, meow. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Spiffing Britain always mentions your team isn't sponsored. Yep. Well, yeah, maybe one these days. Maybe someone will accidentally watch one of my streams when I was saying about it and go, actually, this guy's kind of funny. We think he'd be a good... <laughs> if one week you see me doing a live stream and, and like the thumbnail is just me holding a big crate of monsters up, <laughs> you know it happened. Holding the crate of monsters with the hat, monster hat, monster t-shirt. Oh, good question, Mandy. For people you would trust. I'm sure Amber has a list of contracts. Um, contracts? 
possibly, <laughs> so Joseph better be careful, uh, contact something. Thank you very much, Daniel. That will definitely pay for, actually that will pay for over two at the moment. Because the, um, at the moment, the four pack is on offer at £3.25. So, yes, I have a couple of them. And tomorrow I will probably buy all the remaining stock that is in the shop. How's uh, my wine drinking neighbours to save me some more coins? I know this is going to sound silly, but home wine making, I'm sure you could probably buy corks off of Amazon. Bag of. Or somewhere like, maybe not Amazon, if you don't like Amazon. If you don't like Jeff Bezos being so rich, it's unbelievable. Uh, wish I had a laugh. The council took away in the early night to replace the room. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Stan. You really didn't need to do that, mate. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, I was. I've seen those. Uh, kind of. Yeah, it's, it's when it's winter time and there's been snow or a heavy frost, and you you see the lot the row of terraced houses, all white roofed. And there's the one that's got no snow on it whatsoever. <laughs> so you grow re weed in the loft. <laughs> um, geez, Aaron, I mean, the megas are 175 here at the moment. Or, <laughs> thank you, runners, that's another four pack nearly. Um, but there was, if you have a local one stop, and now I'm going to do an advert for the place I work. If you have a local one stop, unlike Sainsbury's, such a wonderful drink as a Mega Monster is available as part of the three pound meal deal. There we go. <laughs> if the boss is watching this, he's going to be wetting himself laughing. Rockstar. Dang, Rockstar's a 99p. <laughs> no one wants to drink Rockstar's. I think they're relentless at two for one fifty at the moment. Oh, oh well, if you happen to be passing, <laughs> pop me and say the guy from the Attleboro one stop told me to come in here because you got the best meal deals. <laughs> This guy on YouTube from Norfolk. <laughs> mm. so that's it. It's um, yeah. It's one of those know the risks. If you're at risk of any kind of heart issues, don't drink energy drinks. If you're like me and your body basically runs on caffeine and sugar, yeah. <laughs> When you try to explain to someone that you have trouble sleeping if there isn't enough caffeine in your system. What? <laughs> yeah. I, I, I can drink a can of energy drink and go to bed. <laughs> Probably sleep better than if I didn't. So the rock stars all simply weird flavors it's like mango or guava or god knows what <laughs> i don't want it to say fruit on it i don't want it to be good for me i want it to try taste like carnitine taurine okay it's got ginseng and b vitamins in it which is good for you i suppose but Uh, what ingredients have we got? Carbonated water, sucrose, glucose syrup, acid, citric acid, so fruit. Natural flavorings, taurine, acidity regulator, sodium citrate, panax ginseng root extract, 0.08%. Uh, carnitine tartrate, 0.04. Caffeine, 0.03. 
preservatives, vitamins B2, B3, B6, B12, salt, glucuronolactone, whatever the hell that is. And then just to finish it off, I had sweetener as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's basically battery acid. But hey. Now, given what I do for a living, now I'm dealing with the public all day, uh, up to generally up to nine hours a day, sometimes more. Um, and I'm not doing the mask and the gloves and the sanitizing my hands every 30 seconds. And I haven't come down with it yet. I'm wondering whether having basically acid going into my mouth fairly regularly is stopping it from coming in that way. And then smoke going into my lungs and also being bung solid with hay fever is stopping it going up that way. Super skull. Oh, dear skull. Oh, no. Um... Yeah, the other one is the. Have you seen the dragon soup? That's basically monster. That's eight percent. Well, energy drink. Yeah, it's basically energy drink with eight percent alcohol added. <laughs> just that, that just sounds like a bad idea to me. Uh, run the bath and fume of iron can quite. How much? <laughs> yeah, don't. Yeah, no, that that amount there. Yeah. Switch the pro, uh, switch the safe down. Um, yeah, don't don't go near Aaron. <laughs> yeah, it's. Uh, I think it's aimed at a certain market. Yeah, Chernobyl. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I live at Chernobyl now. Cheap rent, but the wolves have gotten out of hand. Well, the weird thing though, when I was watching a documentary probably a few months ago now but my brain's fried yeah sparks energy and alcohol same thing it's probably different things like that all over the place like the old red bull and vodka um but there are areas around chernobyl where it's perfectly safe is background radiation levels then you move 100 yards and it's like lethal levels of radiation <laughs> so there are people living there now but just in certain places and only taking you know, where they can get certain routes to get to places to get out. And never had a word. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. I'm, so I'm with the age I was still drinking when Red Bull and vodka was the, the in thing. And oh, geez. It was just a bad idea. Whoever thought, yeah, because. Gives you more energy, keeps you more awake. So you drink more of it and you get more drunk without realizing it. And then you wake up in the morning. Oh my God. Yeah, it's safe with um, Desperados and the French stubbies. Wouldn't drink the Copper Burgo because it says it's cider, but it's not cider. Just flavoured ethanol. It's never seen an apple. Yeah, fire dry energy drink jug night in hospital. Yeah. So if your system's not used to it, I mean, let's say if my insomnia has been kicking my butt and I have to, you know, let's say I've had a few days off work and my insomnia has been playing up and I've not been sleeping at all. As I found several years ago when the insomnia first started kicking in, and you then go to work and you haven't slept for three days, <laughs> it takes a lot of red, it takes a lot of energy drink to get you through that day. The problem is then you've got that much caffeine in your system that you can't sleep the next night. So you then end up taking sleeping tablets so you can sleep, and you just end up in a vicious cycle. In the end, I just went, right, you know what? I'm just going to deal with feeling like death because at least then I know I'll sleep the next night. Yeah. 
insomnia, not fun. If you've never had it, it don't take the mickey out of someone who does have it. It's not as simple as, well, why don't you just go to sleep? As, a lot of, as I've been told, why did you get up at three o'clock in the morning? Because I was awake. <laughs> uh, Mexican Coca Cola is only something I do. Yeah, it's cane sugar rather than any of the refined cornstarch that is used in America. I think uh, cornstarch, corn syrup, one of them. Yeah. Um, yeah. In the UK, I think it is. It's normally. Uh, yes, I don't think it's cane sugar. But it's normally not that. <laughs> Yeah, running on two, three, four hours sleep is not fun. That's where I started napping. The problem then is if you nap too much, you know, you've been awake all night and then like you have a nap and you, your nap turns into three or four hours, you then struggle to sleep the next night. And uh, it's just so easy to get into a vicious cycle and then you're stuffed. And it's going to hurt like hell to get out of it. Food uh, on fast way. Uh, no, I've not heard of fast way, Jerry. But then I was never a huge Motorhead fan. I, you know, some cool tracks, but and Lemmy, obviously a legend. Ah uh, well. Yeah, probably not, Greg, but if they lower blood pressure, I'll be, it's probably doing me good. Um, judging by how much I struggle in the heat, I've probably got blood like syrup. Yeah, they used to for me, Jay, but then I quit doing that, and that's when it really kicked in, when I stopped smoking. <laughs> Yeah, nice calming cup of tea and a donut. Exactly. Your body gets used to it and then you need more of it to have the same effect. And yeah. Just you gotta go with the the natural method to fall asleep. No, you don't get to eat all the donuts, Dan. No, no. Some of the donuts are for me. I, mean, I know I look like I eat all the pies, but it's mostly donuts and energy drinks and pork pies, to be honest. Well, I actually ate fairly healthily this week. I've had things like lasagna and macaroni cheese and chow mein and, well, it's cauliflower cheese. Yes. No, nothing to do with the fact that they were the ones that re reduced them or going free at the end of the day at work, you know. Nothing to do with that at all. <laughs> How many donuts? Can't stop once I have one. Yeah, this is it. They're, they're a single serving pack of donuts. Don't matter how many donuts are in the pack, it's a single serving. I can quite easily polish, polish off a whole pack without thinking about it. Like glazed chips, yeah, well, as they're known in the UK, walkers. Um, I assume that, well, I say that, I assume they're the same thing because the logos look really similar, and the bags do, and the flavours are. So I'd assume just a different name, yeah. Oh, it's that girl. Hi, Priscilla. My lovely. How are you, my dear? With your your wonderful accent. Uh, can't eat cake donuts. Oh no. Oh, it's all right, Patrick. I'll eat the ones that you can't eat. Oh, sure. Between me and Dan, we can polish off your share. Oh, itchy nose. 
slash forehead slash monobrow. Uh, Sundays are going pretty well. Oh, as good. Hopefully you don't end up with customers turning up and doing the same thing that happened with. Was that actually the shop that D works for? Is she saying in her stream or showing the video? A customer had gone up to the door, frustrated it was shut, rattled the door really hard, and managed to break the glass. Yep, co yep. Natural coca leaves, chew on them, and you it alleviates the effects of altitude sickness. And what was uh, Yeah, that was that was a bad idea. Swapping the salt and vinegar and choose an onion colours. Um, just wrong. I need to watch my girlish figure. <laughs> well, you know, I have much more. I'm going to need a bra. Yeah, uh, Seabrook's are great crisps. I used to love their, oh, what you, was it roast garlic? Their roast garlic flavor. They were awesome. I mean, you could taste them for about three hours afterwards every time you burped. And everyone else within about a 20 feet radius could smell them, uh, which is a good side effect in my book. Yeah, it's the other chemistry involved that makes the completely natural thing dangerous. Funny that, isn't it? They take a perfectly natural product, they process it, and it becomes dangerous. Oh, yeah, I can't do prawn cocktail. I'm sorry. It might be just purely down to my screwed up sense of taste from no sense of smell. It's the same thing. They, they're like the crisp equivalent of a pot noodle. They just, just taste of chemical. You know, Dr. Evil was there. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I think I'm better people to blame. Probably Trump. Um, <laughs> oh yeah, Seabrook's crisps. Yeah, they have got so much flavour in them. Um, they're really well cooked. They're not burnt. Yeah, I mean. People rant rave about the kettle chips. I always find they're just overly done. They're not burnt. They're just too crunchy and dry. You want your crisps to be a little more kind of melt in the mouth than that. It's kind of similar to Doritos. I can't be doing with them either. Can't go wrong with a pack of quavers or what's it's or skips. I know skips are prawn cocktail flavour, but they don't taste like any other prawn cocktail flavour crisp. Um, uh, yeah, fentanyl. Yeah. Yeah, Seabrook's crisps are just good. The problem. Problem with me is they're tricky to get hold of sometimes. You just can't find them. I mean, I know you can order them by the box, but I mean, that's like a box of 30 packets. Might be worth doing though. Spring onion's a good one as well for them. Um, barbecue beef hula hoops, roast beef monster munch. What other ones do I like? And McCoy's. McCoy's are always good as well. Um, they're pricey, but McCoy's are about the only ready salted flavour that I like. Yeah, uh, yeah, <laughs> I, I, I know a bit about what's going on in Northern Ireland at the moment. <laughs> Let's just say when certain groups find out who is responsible for the problem, the problem goes away. But 
they have gone crunchier. This because they've because they've used less oil to make them healthier. So. Mm-hmm. Uh, the uh, that no, that's the kneecapping is a minor offence. Uh, some of the stories I've heard, yeah, yes, there's a there was one where someone crucified to a tree. <laughs> are, you, are we making you hungry for chips? Are we, Mandy? And then come. Or is it the uh, the uh, drug problem that's got you really switching? <laughs> uh, in a country like Honduras in the next fifty years, yeah, I'm I'm not worrying about what's happening fifty years down the line, Aaron. I'm gonna be dead by then. Yeah, and the medical, yeah, it is. Well, we kind of slightly messed up the surgery, but if you keep taking these drugs, you won't feel it. Yeah. Or it's going to cost too much to fix the problem, so just take these for the rest of your life. Same with the antidepressants. Uh, although they're, they're getting better with the antidepressants now. They're not just prescribing them. They're prescribing them and then something to figure out what's causing the depression and how to fix it. If you make the cause and the problem go away then you don't have to have the tablets, which have all sorts of side effects, like causing depression. Yeah, I don't like the help. Have to eat more since there's less food in the packs. Exactly. Um, when they did away with the king-size Mars bars and Snickers and Twixes and what have you, because apparently they were too big, and people were going, oh, that's one of the reasons people are getting fat. The chocolate bars are too big. A king-size Mars bar is too big. What we'll do is we'll make it the two smaller ones, put it in the same packet. No, just give us the damn king-size Mars bar. Right. The people who are eating king-size Mars bars aren't the people who sit behind a computer all day at work. They're the people who are, no, you know, scaffolders, builders, the people who work that energy off. <laughs> you know, it's... How much Grande's and Laroni's recent video on it? I've not watched that. Dan, but I'll, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. I'm not watching it, but I shall, because I'm quite familiar with the subjects of antidepressants. And there's slightly perverted messages being sent by a messenger that keep popping up on the screen. <laughs> Nothing to do with this is another group chat I'm in. I think it's a case of once the government realised just how much tax they're going to make out of it, then it'll happen. Um, it might be another generation yet, but it'll happen. And Nope. Just some. You just want me to burp again, don't you? Uh, yeah. Yeah, medical but seizures and pain. Yeah, that's... Oh, perhaps I suffer from the amount of concussions I've had. I'm surprised I haven't got any serious problems. 
Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't even normally bother going to the doctors about it. It's like, oh, got a concussion again. <laughs> it's not good when you're self diagnosed and things like that. Last one, yeah, it was the last time I got a concussion. I ended up cycling two and a half mile home from the lake with all my fishing gear <laughs> through town. Probably not the best bet when you can't quite see and you're rather wobbly. So, so I, you just eat the one half. Wow. It's, that's one of these that's again that's one of those terms I've never understood when it comes to food leftovers what's that about <laughs> is the yeah, I mean, Oh, see you later, Sherry. Have fun and stay safe yourself. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Um, yeah, it's, it's one of those things. Has it got stronger or has it got weaker or have people just got more used to it? Um, I mean, at least these days, it's not rocky, which used to be about 50% boot polish half the time. Right over something completely different. Yeah, right over is what you used to do uh, tapes and floppy disks. And actually, another channel I really enjoy is a chap called Techmoan. Very good, very entertaining. All that sort of older tech and technology type stuff. Complete geek, but you know, sometimes you got to let your geek loose. Yeah, we don't know exactly why. We just know it happens. So not really a lot we can do about it at the moment until we figure out why it happens. Mm -hmm. Never mind, maybe someday we'll live in a modern utopia where everything's wonderful and nobody needs for anything and everyone's happy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah, thank you very much, Sherry. Don't necessarily need the hours anymore, but thank you very much anyway. So, where are we? Where are we? Ooh, still got 23 people on Wowzers. Uh, any, any other future plans that I've thought of? Not really. Um, just what the hell I'm going to do with the plants in this tank. Uh, <laughs> when I strip it down because they've gone a bit nuts to be honest weirdly I, I don't know whether it's they've gone nuts since I stopped using the CO2 in there and stopped fertilising or whether it's because the levels of fish poop and mould have built up in the substrate to the extent where there's plenty of food available for the plants Uh, ship is built, Aaron is in Primer. Um, so it's work, being tired, worn out. Haven't really got around to doing much more. Uh, the Panzerd is now all built and base painted. And I started on the detail painting this morning, did a little bit of that. Um, it's the big pink German tank I'm building. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> just purely to upset people um, 
is hashtag I don't do Dunkle Gelb. I've actually thrown out all my Dunkle Gelb paint, so I can't paint German tanks. <laughs> oh, pardon me. Yeah, it's the King George V and one seven hundredth. I, I did enjoy building it, I have to say. Oh, plenty you already have, Aaron. Don't worry. <laughs> people who don't know me have got peed at it. Uh, people who know me have just found it funny that I've done it. Especially as I've put the wrong gun on it as well. <laughs> um, oh. I've, uh, anyone looking for more fishy-related content than randomness? Father Fish has just gone live. I had the notification. Ah, oh, thank you, Mandy. Yeah, I did try and keep that one quiet and small. That's not me burping loudly. If I burp loudly, it'd overload the microphone and the neighbors would complain. Oh, not hummus. Oh, foulness. See you later, Patrick. Have a good weekend and stay safe and all that good jazz yourself. Yeah, where was I going before I got onto the burps? Yeah, the historians will go back. They will. Yeah, I'll, I'll, they get upset enough with me calling it a pan turd, let alone when I stuck the gun off a jagged pan turd on it um, and then painted it bright pink, bright gloss pink. I'll have to look, see if I've got any rainbow decals I can put down the side of the turret just to really upset people. Uh. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah, so I'm, I'm kind of getting to the point where wondering what kits to get next. Um, one I know, and um, it's not really it will be the mini arc full interior t-34 russian medium tank from world war ii for those that don't know um which will be a nice highly complicated highly detailed kit uh probably in excess of a thousand parts i would think um and then possibly something big and gribbly from games workshop um <laughs> ciao <laughs> and there goes my extent of italian um <laughs> right you got a game earlier because the panzer four ah uh, yeah the panzer four h yeah that will nuke a matilda um not as funny as when you do it with do it with the KV2, and you nuke a t <laughs> nuke something a tier higher, uh, <laughs> just obliterate it in one shot. Um, yes, so Matilda's got good armor for a tier four tank, but as soon as you put it up against tier fives, it's yeah under armored. Um, yeah, so the T-34, so again, I'll have to look at the money situations, but I'd say if, if I'm going to go for a GW one, it'd probably be something like one of Demon Primarchs, something big and evil and gribbly looking, not happy and friendly and fluffy. Um, you never know one these days. I may even get around to finishing that wooden angel angelfish model if I can find the bits. It's just finding the time, the willpower, and the mojo. Oh, yeah. Um, um, double cannon. Uh, oh, cannon double. Uh, yeah, it's either going to be a 
trying to think is one of the Swedish ones. I think there's a, one of the Swedish lighter tank or Swedish light tanks has got a double 20 mil cannon on it. Um, <laughs> Man, he hasn't raged quit again since Tony Hawk was a popular. Well, just, you know, Mandy, um, they're doing a digital remastering of Tony Hawk 1 and 2. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, I think the, the uh, computer games industry has got, like, the movie industry where they've run out of ideas. It is what's going on. In Africa against Africa Corps. Ah, yes. In that case, you want a Churchill, but they won't let you have one. Right. Especially one of the late war Churchills with the six pounder on it. Or the crocodile, that'd be fun. Two, was it 200 yard flamethrower. <laughs> Great fun. Also, generally frowned upon to use. So there we go. There we go. We were at that time again. <laughs> I will. I will. Oh, they, they did the first time around. I, I never quite got them games. They just didn't click with me. So, if anybody has any questions, we were, as we're getting down to the last few minutes, as. I need some more food. Um, Mafia One Remaster's coming out. Yeah, oh, they're, they're going to simplify these things. I always do. Oh dear, excuse me. You see, drink a large can of Monster, I'm still yawning away. Eyes are getting heavy, need to sleep. And I, no, I didn't really have a nap this morning. I had a lay down on the sofa and I didn't nap. Zach was, uh, Zach was snoring too loudly for me to sleep. Uh, <laughs> you want gaming to no longer be mainstream? Yeah, that's not going to happen. Unless, unless the mainstream is purely going to go towards more handheld, so phones and stuff and then more uh, the consoles PCs and things like that are not mainstream version yep thank you very much Chew. I had a notification come up yeah. <laughs> wonder why they won't sponsor you drink monster it hasn't got too much caffeine in it <laughs> yeah, this is it. It's as I said, it's the same as the movies where the big studios won't take risks, they want a guaranteed return on investment from the investors and <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Prices keep going up, nothing much changes. Yeah. It's just the way of the world. So I've got my Xbox One, and that's pretty much where I'm going to stick. Um, I think probably by the time that is no longer supported, I will, I'll be too old to play games. I'll be, I'll, be, I'll be pretty much half blind and have the reaction speed of a sloth by then. So it won't work well. Maybe something like Mahjong or Yahtzee. Bingo or Battleship, something like that. Nothing too complex. Heck, I struggle with World of Warships sometimes to keep up with what's going on. Yeah, well, the audience didn't understand the movie. No, the audience understood the movie. They also understood it was bloody awful. Just because your test audience said, no, we don't like that ending. 
Can you make it happier? So you change it to happy ending, which ruined the movie. Yeah, good point, Dan. Yeah. A game should look like a game. It shouldn't look like real life. Yeah. Some Pokemon who cheat, yeah. Yeah, I've had people tell me I've hacked the game before as well. I was like, I'm playing on Xbox. <laughs> Someone accusing me of being a computer hacker? Really? I can barely get a live stream to work. Gameplay is secondary, yeah. Uh, it's all about making it look pretty and making the game world as big as it is. You can and then nothing really happens. Oh, I've not played Kenshi, no. Not that I can recall. But anyway. I'm going to disappear off. Um, uh, I probably won't be popping into Father Fisher's stream, but say hello to him for me if you do. Because um, I've got to get something to eat before I do fall asleep. And then I'll stay awake. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, thanks everyone for tuning in, putting up with me waffling for two hours again. Thanks for the likes. Special thanks for all the super chats. Thank you very much, Lee. Most appreciated. Um, I shall obviously put the money to good fishy use. And, uh, Enjoy your hobby, whichever one or whichever ones they are. Have fun. Peace out. I'm going to get it right, right at some point. Rock on and bye-bye.